Today's video is sponsored by Editor's Keys. This is the Final Cut Pro keyboard from Editor's Keys. It's actually not the first time I'm talking about this on the channel, but between the previous video and today, something changed. I hired an assistant editor. Almost all my videos are edited in Final Cut Pro, so there was a minor inconvenience when this editor I wanted to hire told me he's never used Final Cut Pro before. He came from a Windows system and was familiar with DaVinci Resolve. Now, even though Editor's Keys does also have a keyboard for DaVinci Resolve, they even have different versions for Mac or PC, I had no plans to give up my current FCP workflow. My then new editor, who wasn't new to editing but was new to FCP, told me that he is open to learning this new NLE. We both knew how daunting and frustrating of a process it was to pick up a new software, but then I remembered I have this Final Cut Pro keyboard, so he started his FCP journey with this exact keyboard, and it made a world of difference. The keyboard itself is quite self-explanatory. It's a backlit wireless keyboard overlaid with shortcuts for your NLE. With this, my new editor was up and running in no time. Many frustrating moments were solved by simply glancing down at the keyboard. Because more than simply helping your memory when it comes to keyboard shortcuts, this also doubles as having a menu presented right under your nose for all the functions available at the press of a keystroke or two. Every time I go from a conventional keyboard to the editor's keys one, the best way I can describe the feeling is as if I'm playing Minesweeper with X-ray vision. It doesn't just reveal what functions are already bound by default, because something I found equally useful was being able to see which keys are not bound to anything so I can assign custom shortcuts to them without overriding any stock configurations. Even for someone like myself who's been editing an FCP for years, I am still learning new shortcuts for this software I thought I was so familiar with. There's definitely those few muscle memory shortcuts which I'm able to hit without even looking, but beyond the very common actions, there were workflows, entire workflows, which I had no idea even existed until I discovered the key label for it on this keyboard. The G key, for example, this whole time, I always thought there was no function assigned to it because if you press it, nothing happens. But here you can see it's labeled as storyline. And sure enough, when I checked the command sets within FCP, it was indeed bound to something called toggle storyline mode this whole time. So that prompted me to do a bit of digging, which led me to discover how when you bring two clips together, which are not on the primary storyline, holding the G key down causes them to form a new storyline as they snap together. If you're not pressing G, they don't automatically become a storyline, which means you have to manually highlight them, right click and create storyline. So that was a moment of enlightenment for me because I had no idea this was something you could do within Final Cut Pro. And I probably would never have discovered this feature if it weren't for the fact that I noticed it on my editor's keys keyboard. It is also possible to connect this one keyboard with up to three different devices. You can see the three Bluetooth toggles up here. So when this keyboard gets passed between my editor and myself, there's no need to redo the pairing process each time. And he also does appreciate the fully backlit keys a lot because his words, editors be always working in the dark. For myself, I like how this integrates not only with my FCP workflow, but with Mac as a system in general. You've got keys for your volume control and brightness control for your display, and a neat little bonus is the dedicated screenshot button, which isn't something you'd find on the stock Mac keyboard. In my opinion, this keyboard is more effective than video tutorials when it comes to easing the learning curve for a new software. It's especially the case if that someone already has an idea of how NLEs work, and this just points you in the right direction. It's not just text labels, it's full color-coded backlit icons. For anyone interested in checking out the Editor's Keys line of keyboards, I'll be leaving links below, and I hope to see you around.